New Orleans police are working to find the person who shot and killed a 40-year-old man who was riding on his bicycle on Basin and Canal Streets. This is near the Sanger Theater. Yeah, it happened yesterday afternoon. Erica Frando joins us live now from that intersection with what we know so far. This is horrifying, Erica. You used to live right near here. And hmm. Teresa Devon, we're still waiting to learn more from police. We know that the man was killed in front of apartments here on Basin Street. We spoke with some witnesses who tell us he was riding his bike was shot and then someone rode off on his bike. Right now, police are still trying to figure out who shot him and why. I was coming this way with my sweets. I'm always coming this way with this. Robin LeBlanc Lord. is known as the candy lady as she's often pushing her cart full of homemade sweets for sale. I have cakes, pies, brownies, candy apples. She walks this stretch of Basin Street near Canal often. Now I'm going too far with it. I'm scared. They got too much going on around here. Sunday <laughs> <laughs> Man, on Canal Street, you see the, every kind of the most threatening, wild, feral looking sunmen that you can imagine of all different types and varieties. It's crazy. I thought the French Quarter was, they, they told us it was safe. Just don't leave the French Quarter when I was down there. It's not safe if there's any anywhere that there's like a lot of sun people. And in New Orleans, I, there's always a lot of sun people. So it's kind of a problem. I stayed at that hotel over there, the, the big hotel. I forgot the name of it. Um, God damn it. Um, so I'm tipping my tongue. But um, it's, 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 it's like right down there where Mardi Gras is. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, yeah, in the middle of the city. It's a big ass. Yeah, it's a big ass hotel. There's, a, there's another tall building right beside it, right across the street. I forgot the name of it. But anyway. Anyway, um, um, yeah, and they were just like, yeah, no, you're cool here as long as you just stay here. Yeah, as yeah. long as, you know, some some people walking on Bourbon Street don't get into an argument and light it up, which is what happened a few, you know, a month ago. So six people got shot down there. Yeah, yikes. Cart full of homemade sweets for sale. I have cakes, pies, brownies, candy apples. She walks this stretch of Basin Street near Canal often. Now I'm going too far with it. I'm scared. They got too much going on around here. Sunday afternoon around 4.30, she says she was almost to this intersection when she heard loud pops. And I heard the shot, so it froze me. I stood right there for about five minutes or so. She then saw a man who had been shot laying on the ground. New Orleans police say he was 40 years old, and officers responded when they heard the shots, too. I was standing at the doorway right where it happened, and I heard the shots. It was three shots, and I immediately ran outside to see what was going on. And she was picking up the bike off the ground and walking it to Canal. The security guard told us Sunday evening she and other witnesses saw a woman ride off on the victim's bike. <laughs> the woman. Yeah, this is a son woman that did this. Yikes. Well, yeah. New, New Orleans, you're 0 for 2. You, you, yes. you look like Philly out here, man. New Orleans do not look like Philly. Like, again, some women have a lot of nerve talking about being afraid when, you know, per capita, we know that they commit more violent crimes than glider men do. So. Canel. The security guard told us Sunday evening she and other witnesses saw a woman ride off on the victim's bike. She just took his bike. Like, I don't know. The man was just laying up, you know, it was so sad and I'm shooken up, I'm not gonna lie. Violence in the city is a little out of control. Richard Mann uses a bike as his main source of transportation. When I moved here, I gave up. Privilege, you privilege. This is right Denounce by when that hotel collapse. Uh, the this brave way. man. Denounce your privilege. Uh, man, I used to walk all up and down here all the time, every day, basically, for work, but you just... You know, it's like anywhere else. You, you you basically have to look out for the feral sun then. Yeah, and you just got to get out of there. And hope time. you're not in the vicinity of a bullet that, you know, you're not between two sun people that are arguing. Or in, That's basically what is going to kill you. Everybody who's been killed on Canal Street has been killed by a stray bullet from a sun man argument. He'll, they'll have some you got to be racist to cross the street. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is... Uh, can, <sighs> have you seen Houston? This 14, three, 14 people shot at a balloon release. Oh my God! We'll go there. We'll go that there. was yeah, tonight. tonight. That was tonight, man. We'll, we'll we'll go there next, man. Um, yeah, breaking news, man. We going there next, man. Um, make sure y'all hit that PayPal Cash App Super Chat, man. 
Um, we 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 gonna get to Philly. We gonna get to Philly. Temple students get terrorized, but we um um and don't send your kid to Temple. Whatever you do, if you got a kid seventeen coming into their senior year and they um looking at Temple as a school, forbid them to go to Temple. Send them to yes. HBCU. Exactly. Out of control. Richard. Yeah, they'll be safer at HBCU than at Temple. That's well. Crazy. If you send your kid to Temple. Get a million dollar life insurance policy on them. Yeah, that's that's just insane. Man uses a bike as his main source of transportation. When I moved here, I gave up vehicles. I wanted to be as uh, carbon friendly as I could be. And he rode past the scene Monday. It's a little dicey, especially as you get down to the library. Uh, a lot of homeless down there. That's why I only work in the daytime. I used to work at night too with this, but I don't, I don't work at night no more. Bullets don't have a name on it, so I could have been making my rounds, or she could have shot an innocent bystander or kids because this is a, a a main street. Like you know, a lot of things go on over here. It's a whole movie theater across the street. Yeah, they definitely that, care about so far, that. No that glider man's made, country being guard, torn to the ground and he's worried about the fucking carbon footprint yeah fucking what a climate fucking change right douchebag i just slapped that motherfucker in the face <laughs> oh shit this is insane i'm willing to bet he'd say some shit like uh maybe y'all deserve it like well you know gliders we kind of deserve it you know well if it wasn't for climate change the crime wouldn't be that bad Riding his yeah. bike up North Rampart, he'll be dead in five years by a sun man, probably. So. That's why I said he'll get killed within a few years, and they'll do some special on the local news about him, how everybody knew well, him, and he was so yeah. great, and now he's dead. <laughs> yeah, because of uh, gun violence. You know, gun violence. He Bullets was known for being an environmental activist in the community, and yada yada yada. <laughs> Shit, man. The sudden kid who kills him, you know at. 14 has a carbon footprint like 10,000 times his size.